One of the ways to create artificial intelligence is to try to emulate the brain. The brain is made up of neurons. These neurons take electric and chemical signals as inputs. When the inputs are large enough, an electrochemical pulse travels to the outputs which lead to inputs of other neurons. Computers can function similarly. Computers take in inputs, performs operations on those inputs, and then spits out outputs. With computers, we can create artificial neural networks. These are composed of nodes which behave like neurons. Neurons have inputs and input weights. The weight determines the strength of the input signal. These inputs are aggregated and fed into an equation, usually a hyperbolic tangent, or a sigmoidal transfer function. The output of the equation is sent to the other nodes connected to Connections it. Connections between them is moderately able to emulate the brain. We call these groups artificial networks, or ANN for short. These networks are used to solve specific tasks, like playing Mario, or learning to walk. The real question is, how does an artificial neural network get smarter? One way is by augmenting the topology of these networks through evolution. We do this by treating each network as a genome. We create an equation to compute the fitness of each genome. For example, if our network is trying to learn how to play Mario, the fitness of each network could be how far Mario gets in the level, or how many points he scores. We take the genomes with the highest fitness and breed them together, producing a new generation of genomes. Through the process of natural selection, we can get better and better networks. To breed a smarter network, we randomly mutate genomes when they are bred just like mutations in DNA. These mutations can alter the network's structure by adding or deleting nodes and links, or by modifying link weights. Only genomes of the same species can breed, but network classification is a discussion for later. I have created a simulation of artificial neural networks and made them smarter through neurogenetic evolution. The task is to balance a 2D circle on top of another circle, but the computer can only move the circle on the bottom. I used a fitness equation that computes the amount of time before the ball falls below a certain point. Each generation ends when the last circle falls. On the left, I show a few statistics. The generation count. The average fitness of the entire population. The average fitness of the top five networks, and the highest fitness reached thus far. As you can see, with each generation, the circles take a little longer to fall. The averages on the left increase, meaning that the networks also get smarter. By the seventh generation, one of the networks is able to balance the circle for 35 seconds. By the eighth generation, the network is able to balance the ball forever. The network decreases the strength of the oscillations with the correct ball movement, until these oscillations are so small that they are invisible to the eye unless we zoom in very far. Here is a graphical representation of the top performing network. If you want to learn more, I have posted a few helpful links in the description. There is only one input to this task. Both the y-coordinates and the speed of the circle on top can be function of the x-variable. The output is the velocity at which the ball should move. Having one input and one output simplifies the task a lot, so the neurogenetic algorithm solves and really quickly in only eight generations.